The Flood Risk Management Maps system is a new web-based information tool to help agricultural producers and land managers better manage their fields and lands that are prone to repeated and intense flooding. In the aftermath of the historic Iowa flood of 2008, the state of Iowa received federal funding to update its floodplain maps across the state. The Iowa Flood Center at the University of Iowa was tasked with this five-year project. To access the flood risk management maps, go to iowafloodmaps.org. Then, under the Flood Risk Management Maps icon, click View the Maps. This will take you to the launch page, where you can access the data through your browser, an interactive PDF, or GIS. Let's look at the browser-based option first. Click View Maps, then click Continue. To zoom into your area of interest, click Select County, and choose your county from the drop-down menu. Then zoom in by either scrolling or clicking the plus and minus buttons at the upper left of the screen. It may take a moment for some features to appear. You can also find your area of interest by using Search Address. The flood risk management maps were created using data from the statewide floodplain mapping project. These floodplain maps include all streams in Iowa draining greater than one square mile. The system includes three types of flood risk management maps, scour prone areas, flood risk gradients, and flood depths. The flood depths feature includes inundation and depth maps for eight flood events, including the 0.2% annual probability event also known as a 500-year flood, and the 1% annual probability event, or 100-year flood, as well as six additional flood maps, 0 0.5%, 2%, 4%, 10%, 20%, and the 50% annual probability events. The Flood Risk Gradients feature provides a flood risk gradient showing all eight flood depths overlaid on top of one another. Turn on the Flood Inundation Risk Gradients by clicking its checkbox under the Flood Risk Gradients header. The Flood Risk Gradient map shows the eight flood event inundations in a single graphic. As color transitions from red to blue, annual flood risk decreases. The Scour Maps feature shows the most scour-prone areas during a 1% flood event. These areas are most prone to soil loss during major flood events. To see the areas most susceptible to soil erosion, click on Scour-prone areas. There are two classes of scour-prone areas, labeled Moderate Scour Potential and high scour potential. Moderate scour potential areas are reasonably likely to experience soil loss during a major flood event, while high scour potential areas are more likely to experience more severe scour. These new maps can assist state and local agencies and enable farmland owners to identify acres most vulnerable to flood damages, to consider management changes to reduce damage, and to improve productivity of land. You can also get the data from the flood risk management maps through layered PDF maps. These maps are organized by county and provide a way to view data without an internet connection. Back at the launch page, scroll down and click Data Access. Then, under PDF Map Access, click the link provided. Right-click your county of interest and select Download Linked File. This may also appear as Save Link As. Save the file to your computer. The layer functionality of the maps will work best using Adobe Acrobat. Back at the launch page, 
the raw GIS data is available on the NRGIS library and as a web service. This is for experienced users with access to GIS software. This data is organized by Huck8 Watershed. GIS data can be accessed by clicking on the Data Access button and following the appropriate hyperlinks. The launch page provides a link to a help guide, which explains how to interpret the inundation, depth, and scour data provided. It also explains how to use the PDF maps and provides other useful information. It is very important that you review this information before using the data provided. For any questions, feedback, or additional assistance, use the information provided under the Contact Us button. Thank you for using the Iowa Flood Risk Management Maps.